Okay, hi and welcome again to another bait presentation, ASFN Baits. And today I'm going to show you one of my favorite baits for Grunter using sardine. It's a nice little strip bait, very neat, and most other species of fish won't leave it alone, but specifically targeting Grunter. Now, very simple, we've got to trace. Now, before we start with the sardine, just want to get my piece of foam. Remember in every video um, I mentioned to you guys the foam we use to create the body. That's how you get neat baits. Now this, your foam you can shape until you're happy with uh, how you've shaped it. And then with a knife, doesn't always get exactly like you want it, so I'll neaten it up with the scissors and I'll just turn the edges a bit for bait, a better bait presentation because this forms the body of your bait. Now this and the transcar will work as well for the for the cob this is what it does for the grunter. The cob won't swim past this. Okay. Okay, a long, nice little thin, slightly thicker at the bottom, and that's gonna form the base of my bait. Take the foam till where the hook starts turning, and then remember to push a toothpick in to lock it as deep as what you possibly can, and then just clipping it off. Okay, and that now will just uh, tie with a cotton, get that part sorted out of the way. Now a lot of times you must kind of bend it backwards because it will cool up like that. So that's where you use your, your other hand, left hand in my case, to kind of keep it straight. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, anglers, especially if you only got a couple of weeks or opportunities a year to go fish will think you know what you're wasting so much time I just rather want to get a bait in the water that's all good if there's a smash then you're not too worried about bait presentation or um, offering something different to the fish out there to get the bite but remember most of the guys there especially if it's a spot with a couple of anglers are throwing very or could be throwing very ordinary and plain baits so, so this might just get you the fish under all the guys and even on your own this will get you better results by spending some time in making neat presentable baits. Okay. This is, this sardine's got quite big scales. Still nice and solidly frozen. Basically what I'm doing is I'm cutting the fillet off the side. And that's the part I want to be using. And the belly skin we just cut off. simple just not all the way through those are the slits I make just to be able to fold this nicely Okay, now what this allows, it allows it to fold open like that. This one can go deeper. Now 
Then what I do is I'll stick my hook through the bottom where I want it, all the way to the top, and fold all of this piece by piece to the back. Get my cotton. And remember, the other hand, you use the heat of your hand and you press down on the meat to shape it. Now this particular bait you can make thicker, you can make thinner. You need to defrost properly to now get that long, nice, thin look to clear it around the hook. Make sure the hook's proud. And then by using your hands, you'll just shape it like you want it. So I get a bit more on the top here. And there you have it. Nice long thin. But ideal to put out for grunter. You can make it smaller, thinner, you can make it thicker. If you're not fishing for grunter, you can add another piece just by cutting the half of the other fillet and putting it on the back. If you want to build this and you want to build it bigger, you'll be doing it on the back of the sardi or of this bait. You won't be doing it on the front because then you'll close up the hook and it won't be as proud anymore. There we go. The thin strip bait, look at all the scales. Thin strip bait, which I use for granter and a cob won't swim past it. Thank you once again for joining this week's bait demonstration. We hope you're learning from it and we hope it will get you extra results. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to get notifications as well as the, 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 some of the tackle we'll be giving away in the future will be to subscribers and share this if you think it could be valuable to any of your fellow, fellow anglers. And catch us next week again where we will show you more baits.